Hello, everybody. And I feel very privileged to be here. And I kind of feel overwhelmed as well to be in the company of so many wonderful people who have done so much. And to listen to, is it Dr. Hill I call your Surgeon Hill? And to dare to talk and name all of these people in the various areas. I just feel it's just, people are wonderful. People are wonderful. Singers are wonderful. All of the oncologists, everybody. But it's, and so moving you the story, you know, of Deirdre about meeting. And so I, I say, I feel um, overwhelmed, so I don't think I can do justice to this. But as I have been privileged to be asked on behalf of all the great women of Ireland and their families to be the person that formally announces the opening, uh, the official opening of this. I will humbly <laughs> yeah, say a few humble words, but I say there really isn't so much need now that after, I mean, that was wonderful to be present and to hear this. And I think it must have been wonderful for all of you after all of this time and work to be here together as a family because that's what I feel I'm in the presence of a family who who work together and reach out to the bigger family but that they are here there's this uh, solidarity and commitment to each other and that is wonderful to witness so I'm as I say I'm 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 privileged to be asked to be, uh, perform, these are now my, no my notes, that. so they probably sound awfully, after being here for this, they should be a lot different, but anyway, we'll carry on with them. Uh, I just am delighted to be here for the official opening of Bowman Hospital's new ca ca breast care centre. And I, again, I too want to acknowledge the great work done by the CEO, Ian Carter, Professor Arnold Hill, Dr. Deirdre Duke, and all of these people in the, uh, the fundraisers, the Breast Care Ireland under Ashling Hurley, and then the 30 a kilometer in 30 days, the Carol's, it's wonderful to hear of it. So I want to acknowledge all of you who are responsible for having this wonderful building here. And it is a purpose-built, three-story building that is uh, all three floors dedicated to the service of breast health. And this is a cause for celebration. And I, there are, as I mean, already open for six weeks, as you say, there are a lot of women already know and have celebrated the, as I say, the ambience, the atmosphere, the just walking into it, it's so beautifully designed. Um, so it's a cause of celebration for the women of Ireland who are, they are offering, as it does, a wonderful new breast care standalone centre where all aspects of breast assessment, diagnosis and care can be facilitated in one location. Now this will make the woman's journey when she fears she may have cancer so much easier and so less distressful because a cancer care diagnosis comes with great, as, as a great shock and causes great fear and anxiety and panic and it's it's so common and everybody, every family has members or somebody who know have been affected by this because one in nine women in Ireland in their lifetime will experience this and go through and have to deal with this. And there's 3,700 new cases are diagnosed each year. And then behind that diagnosis is that the women will have a, a sudden shift into a new and unfamiliar world of tests and treatments, consultant appointments and hospital stays. Uh, diagnosis just alters lives, disrupts the family and reshapes the future. And just there's so much to be done, the rearranging of accommodation, change, uh, one, trying to manage one's life and care for, you know, help one's loved ones deal with it and them supporting you, you know, it's, it's an enormous um, experience that people need, have to go through. And there, of course, there is the great thing that 
it is so many advances, as Professor Hill, I could give you all kinds of titles given to you now, <laughs> has said that there are such advances being made and that when breast cancer is caught in time, that it has the highest five-year cancer survival rate at 85%. I mean, that is a huge advance. It reminds us that the um, uh, care is, and the treatments are improving all the time, and the breast cancer diagnosis is no longer the death sentence it could have been in the, in the past. And this is another milestone in the journey towards achieving 100% survival rate you know, uh, for all those diagnosed with breast cancer. Here in this new breast care centre, all aspects of breast assessment and care can be undertaken in one place, which is so beneficial for all those dealing with the cancer care, uh, cancer, breast cancer diagnosis. And the establishment of this centre acknowledges that the, the breast cancer journey is a very complex one, both for the patient and for their family. The journey that involves all these healthcare specialists and so many uh, have been spoken of today. And it's just so vast, the, the, the amount of um, professionals that have to be involved between the doctors, the surgeons, the, the nurses, the oncologists, the radiologists, and it's, it's, it's vast, really. So it's, um, it's, it's, it, it just takes so many people to, for, to deal with the, the breast care with cancers. Um, so um, it's just if, when, you, when it's difficult, and it has been, and I think this is such an advance that there, people are in one place rather than having to go to all kinds of different places and maybe get that alone of going to different places for your tests and treatments and then maybe the communication can't go be as good that you can't get the the same clarity and reassurance or you know maybe conflict conflicting informations that is so hard to deal with so to come to a, a one spot one place where all of those services and all of this clarification and clarity is available to women is just, it just must make such enormous, enormous uh, a difference. Uh, I've, you know, my, my sister's died of cancer and so many friends I know have had breast cancer and thankfully many of them survived. But I know what an enormous um, thing it is to happen to somebody and what an enormous care uh, they need and are given to come through that and hopefully to survive, you know. Um, the, the, it's, I've said this previous to the opening, patients attended different clinics for different consultations. And here in the State of the Art Centre, at one location, there are cons consultation suites, mammography rooms, ultrasound facilities, image review, biopsy facilities, and as I say, all the wonderful radiologists and oncologists and all the marvelous people that I've met here this morning. And that access to a direct, uh, to a, a direct access to a multidisciplinary team is so important for all those coping with the cancer diagnosis. And the enabling of greatly improved co communication, coordination, and decision making leads to better treatment plans, greater patient satisfaction, and a hugely improved experience for all concerned, for the woman herself and for all of those in her family who are trying to deal with the myriad emotions and concerns they're experiencing. So then, to coming to uh, Surgeon Hills, Ronald, <laughs> uh, talk so inspiring. I mean, the, the motivation and the, the the, the long-term commitment that has been made to this, and it's like by, by Professor Hill and Deirdre and CEO, Dean Carter, is, is just wonderful. It's really amazing, the years and years of, and then being motivated for all this time and motivating people and getting every one for That is a marvelous, marvelous achievement. So I'm, I'm, I've, um, 
just so pleased to have the opportunity to express the deepest appreciation on behalf of the women and other people of Ireland who are all of those people who have brought this place into being. And it's brought their work to fruition and those who gave generously of their time and skills to raise the funds. And we've mentioned these before, the, you know, Breast Cancer Ireland, all of, all of those people, it took all of these cooperation and togetherness for this to happen. So, and then I, I have to add my words of appreciation to the architects. It looks so wonderful. Uh, hello, that's <laughs> all the people up there, hi. Um, the, 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 just looking up at the three-story building, it looks so impressive and so lovely from the outside. It fits so well into the, you know, the, the, the landscaping, the, the, the surrounds, that a lovely job and not going through the spaciousness, the airiness, and the light, you often feel that it's actually natural light, even though it's on, on a, a ground floor. So I think it's a very wonderful job the architects uh, made. And as I say, they, they were dedicated to it. And that's wonderful, that man, Joe, that said, let's keep going ahead. I mean, that is just magnificent. And then the design inside, as you say, the North, this company, these four girls who came and did it for free. <laughs> when do you get that? And it's so lovely, the inside and all the design that for the different uh, professions, the kind of thing they needed. So I think I have to express, express um, on behalf of the women of Ireland, our gratitude and appreciation of all of this wonderful work. And um, that's, that they were Malone and O'Byrne, and then the North, uh, the, the North design, the interior design. And say anyone in any way helped to ensure this important new centre has been able to open its doors to so many people, so many capacities, um, who have been uh, uh, had breast cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So, a special thanks from the Women of Ireland to all of the health professionals, all you medical people, and uh, I appreciate all the study and all the work and all the dedication came to you to be in the great positions you're in today to be able to offer such help to your fellow you know, humanity, your fellow citizens. So you didn't get here without lots of efforts, so I have to, uh, you know, give my, our appreciation for all of that, for you, for your lives, and for being dedicated here. And uh, that's the consultants, radiologists, oncologists, all of the staff and all involved. So I want to extend a sincere thank you, and thank you for being so um, um, uh, tolerant of such a, an amateur in this, or <laughs> coming from the outside. So um, now I just wish to the, that love and light will shine on this centre, and that it will be successful, and give hope and happiness to all in its care. And finally, from me today, I do hope, I do think that this is wonderful, that the trials, as you say, the really um, important thing, that this new trial center, because so often it takes so long before um, uh, the, the medical research and clinical settings, it's so long, and the benefits of the new research takes considerable time to reach the hospitals and clinics where the patients are treated. So the, the way such research is used, and particularly the interpretation and application in clinical settings, is really important to the full exploitation of new and groundbreaking research and discovery. It's truly amazing the advances that have been made. And as you spoke about the possibility that there would be no need for surgery, and at the moment even say that uh, unless the cancer is very uh, aggressive, that it can be dealt with drugs, the new advances in drugs. And that is a wonderful, a wonderful happening. So I hope that is your ambition and all of yours, that there will be a 100% survival rate and that maybe sometimes it will be eliminated when we understand how it comes about or whatever, whatever causes it. So, again, I wish you all the, the very best, 
And now it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the women of Ireland and the people of Ireland to declare this wonderful Bowman Hospital's Breast Centre building officially open. Yes.